Okay, we're going to make a quick tutorial on Premiere, how to make um, images move, and how to do a jump cut, right, within, within some video. Um, so first, I'm going to double click this image to bring it up here, and then I'm going to drag it down to the timeline, and it comes in at a certain length. I've already done that here and made it longer um, so that I could work with it better. And in this particular instance, if I double click on it um, and go to effect controls, you can see I've already placed some keyframes here. And this is how I'm making it slide in. Um, and then I'm going to make it grow as well. You need pairs of keyframes to work together. I just dragged a box around and deleted them all out. So now the, the movement is gone, right? To get it to start though, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this position keyframe. And if you don't see this, just twirl down this next to motion. Again, I'm on effect controls, twirl down motion, and I'm going to drag this over to the left. And you can see that it set a keyframe for me. It's saying that this value and this value at this point in time are putting that over there. So I need to move forward in time, and then I'm going to drag it to the right until it gets to about center, and you see it auto-generated another keyframe. Now between the two keyframes, it's going to move in. If I want it to grow, let's say I want it to start growing about here. I'm just going to hit this little button and add a keyframe. That makes it 100% scale. That's our size. And I'll move forward in time. And then I'm going to grow it. There we go. So now between these two keyframes, it's moving. And then the bottom two keyframes, it's growing. If I wanted to grow the whole time, I can just simply drag this left keyframe, move it all the way to the left. And now it's moving and growing together the whole time. Okay, so that's keyframes. You can adjust them, you can add them, you can select them, delete them, however you want. Move them around together if you want to, but the distance between them determines how long that animation takes, and the values determine what the stopping and starting point is of your keyframes. If you get a whole bunch of them, just delete them and start again if it gets too confusing. Jump cuts. Anytime you're working with footage, if you want a jump cut, like this has got some decent... Um, zooms down the hallway, right? Let's see if I can find one that's long enough. They're all pretty short. All right, so let's put an endpoint here and then go back to the beginning before Mr. Tracy and get my out point. All right, let's say that's my whole clip. That's a short clip. Where is it? Maybe I reset my endpoint. There's my out. There's my in. Drag it down. Huh. Oh, yeah, you have to zoom it down. Yeah, it should be longer than that, though. Zoom in on my timeline. I'm not even seeing it. I set an endpoint and outpoint on my timeline. So I'm going to clear those in and out. And we'll do this bit probably in another video. This is just a bad clip. Let's use this one. It's a little longer. Okay, so we got this guy walking down the hallway. Endpoint, out point. All right, so there's a longer clip. All right, so what, how I would do this with a jump cut is first, I'm going to get the right tool, select this, and I'm going to cut it somewhere in the middle with my razor, like this. And on the first one, I'm going to select scale to frame size that makes it like i'm showing the other one makes it full frame the second one i'm just going to double click on it and drag out from the corner and make it even bigger and change its position to where i want it to be so now it's going to just jump forward to that see it just jumps forward on that cut and if i want it to come back maybe i'll cut it again i probably should have made both cuts the first time and be on this last bit and i can go back out so get my V, select that guy, right click, scale to frame size again. That should zoom it down. So now it's just jumping in for that little bit to show his kind of reaction. Is that what you're looking for? Yeah. Okay, there we go. So that's it. Jump cuts and keyframes. Any questions? Email me, bnicholas at bcps.org.